Well, according to Allah, Yede, uh, it's Happy New Year's. Glory to Vasilios for Saint Basil. It's Saint Basil's Day, and uh, I'm going through a worse sleep deprivation sleep deprivation crash than I expected it to be. Uh, I knew it was coming. I could feel it. But I didn't know how bad it was going to be. So as I was taking the time off today, I was able to clear enough of my schedule to do that. I was still getting work done. Work is still getting done. I've expanded my uh, YouTube stroll. I've got more to watch on there, a larger variety. I've incorporated the YouTube stroll into uh, a, a number of my observational works in terms of observational behavior, how people behave together. Looking at the uh, their interactions, uh, their thoughts, their feelings, uh, their reactions to various uh, different events that go on in their lives, and this brings me to uh, the state that I was talking about is that uh, in getting back into nausea, getting back into my dreams, because it's a continuous thing. It's part of. Uh, of my reality is well the dreams have shifted to something new there are always a number there's always a number of new elements and it almost is it's, it's almost as if uh, the dreams are there as you move particularly as you move into neutral neutral gin a uh, neutral gin you try to achieve that into be behaving in a neutral manner uh, a lot more calm a lot more a lot more circumspect and not uh, rushing, not rushing to a rash judgment or rash, uh, re, uh, or, or a, a extreme reaction to a situation or incident. Uh, the dreams seem to be almost, in many cases, p p uh, poking and prodding you to see how you are going to react to various different things. Well, that's what I was sort of saying is that, well, the dreams in many cases are new. There are certain elements of dream and elements of the dream that are very old. They're sort of in a continuous fashion, where they're always trying to knock you off balance, trying to uh, get you in a different position or perspective. Uh, and while I'm thinking of this, I do have to put a time and date stamp in. Uh, it's uh, just about just a little after two thirty in the morning. It's two two hours and forty one minutes. Two hours and forty-one minutes into the thirteenth day of January, I think. Because I, I know I do. I have missed an entire day. It's Thursday, and it's the fourteenth. Yeah, I missed all. Of, I sort of missed all of the daytime on January thirteenth, and it's just because I just wasn't there. I was off in the other realm. I didn't have enough energy to get up. It was just I was simply non-functional. I still am non-functional <laughs> to for for a majority of different things. So the vlogging now is an effort. There is uh, more of an effort to vlog now than it typically is. Even though typically vlogging is an effort, most vloggers will tell you that it's tough doing a vlog on a daily basis, particularly if the, if it's, if it's primarily about entertainment and not the conversation. Parched, and there's nothing like a, like water. I do have my tea. I just had a tea, had a tea earlier, about a half hour ago. But now I do need some water. <sighs> Vlogging does take a, a, a bit of effort because you have to break your concentration from the day on whatever you're working on to add this in and bring up a conversation. And I'm trying more and more, the way to do this is to have the vlog as part of my daily flow, points in time where uh, we're in between things and I can sort of bring up the discussion uh, as to what's going on and what's happening and where things are going and, you know, uh, talk about, again, well, what goes on in my life and this includes, this includes the dreams. 
So the the dreams, the gnosis part. Now that I am doing the meditation uh, all day long, it's it's part of my normal routine, part of my normal day. Uh, it is now part of the vlog as well, even when um, I'm completely exhausted and I don't have enough energy to to really function forward. Uh, and this is where you get the vlog. I'm in between different. Uh, I'm in between two different uh, vlogs uh, on the YouTube stroll. It's going to feed into my dreams. It's going to feed into the overall sense of how I approach things uh, because. As I look at different things, I look at these things from the perspective of advanced knowledge uh, the, of the gnosis, and it stays all because it does some of the some of the stuff I'm seeing on, on the vlog is working its way into my dreams. Uh, the scooter is now into my dreams. There are different events in there. Uh, and again, it, what happens in, in the dreams is you you, you make certain mistakes. And part of the mistakes, as I said before, sometimes, and this is part of the problem with people who are angry, they don't see the good they have. And so they keep fighting and squirming and, you know, and struggling to get the things they think they need. And don't necessarily pay attention to what's going on in the immediate, trying to say, oh, I've got to focus on something else. And that was one of the dreams last night, is that I was trying to get to somebody. And I was in a rush. I was, in many ways, in a panic to get there. And I think I, I, and part of the problem I have is, again, staying focused. I do have a tendency to to uh, uh, be distracted, to get distracted. to, And then in your distractions, you spend a lot more time... Uh, trying to get to that initial point because you're distracted. And sometimes you forget it all together. But the person I was trying to find the end point of the dream was there with me, with me the whole time. Yet, it wasn't until after I woke up with the dream and started thinking about it, about it for a bit that I realized the point I was trying to get to, I was already there. <laughs> I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see it that I was already there at the point. You know, I was trying to get to this person, but the person was there all along. And I was there going, yeah, 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 don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. And it was, just, it, it was the person I was trying to get to. But I was so focused on the action of getting to the person on a physical, from a physical distance, from, from a linear distance, from point A to point B, didn't realize that in many cases all spaces and times are interconnected in such a manner that the person could be elsewhere, let's say, 20, 30 miles away, but at the same time right next to you. I was focused on the linear distance. The other person saw beyond the linear distance and was right next to me, even though they were you know, 30, 40 miles away from me. And I could have seen it. I, I, and I said, I did see it. But I didn't pursue that avenue because I was so focused on uh, on achieving the linear distance. I think this is a large chunk of what, what happens today is that we, we get so focused on a particular item, something triggers us, and it creates a, a focus that we forget everything else around us. But there's always necessary to, to every once in a while to, to pick your head up and check to see what's around you and take stock of what you've achieved and take stock of what you have because you, the, the things you may be looking for, you may already have. And again, this is, then again, this is part of uh, what our struggles are. This is part of our life. Anyways, uh, I'll probably come back in, oh, well, at least we, I'm, I'm vlogging once a day anyways, because uh, I, I vlog, I'll vlog 
uh, on the 13th, but again, it was at this particular point in time, it was, it was late at night for most people. Unless, of course, you're in Asia, then it would be during the day. So, it continues on, and now the publishing, the editing and publishing has to continue on as well. Is bizarre to wake again. I had two bizarre dreams, and the camera. I just spent a whole bunch of time talking about it, but the, the camera turned off. So fresh from the dream, let's uh, let's talk about it. Let's uh, bring this into the conversation. I died twice in my dreams. The first dream, I I died. And then continued on. It was a, it was a it was a, it was a bizarre thing. I wanted to say goodbye to people. I was upset that I was leaving. But after a while, I became calm and sort of accepted what was happening and moved on. I thought, okay, that's going to be in. Well, so what's next? Well, I just started off other things. There were there were other sort of places I ended up going to. And it wasn't necessarily as bad as I sort of anticipated it to be. And so one of the things I, that 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 happens, and this is the type of dream that this was. Uh, it's again, I guess, it's a kind of new format where it matches what, the way I watch TV. While I'm watching the show or watching the cartoon, particularly the cartoons, I'm not only watching the show, but I'm part of it. I'm I'm immersed within the show itself, uh, and but I, I'm still aware that I'm the observer. This is the way the dreams were. I was in the dreams, but I was the But I was the observer. Come to the la the last dream that I just had that I just woke woke from. It was a bizarre stop motion action. It was it, it was it, 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 it with, with with flashes of pictures in series. It kind of highlighted my life. But ended, uh, once again, with me fading out. It faded to white. And into my way, into being awake. It, 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 the dreams stay with me in terms of the sense of the dreams. This is where I'm in an altered state, and I'm in an altered state right now. See how long it lasts. Where you keep mulling things over in in your mind, and it's always about how you attempt to do things. And my thing, in some ways, is I always end up going overboard. I never do things simple, and when I try to do things more complicated, it becomes such a mess that. Other people really can't handle this. Is sort of what happens with, with with girls that I'm not necessarily confident of myself, and so I, I try to do something big and impressive, and it doesn't work out. And that's how I ended up in the basement of my house, finishing up a puzzle. Ironically enough, instead of listening to uh, listening to uh, 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 the oldie station, which I had 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 some of the music on in my mind. Um, it turned out to be part of the time I spent watching MTV had these cartoon series on a, uh, a couple, uh, more than five years ago. Well, actually, more than, more than 20 years ago. But the thing is, I ended up in the basement. This is where, I'm, this is where I've been recently vlogging again, uh, where my old office was. And that's where you used to put together puzzles. And the the dream came out as a puzzle and finished up in the basement as a puzzle. Where with all the different sequences being put together to form a particular picture. 
but you know it, it ended up fading to white, which was basically the end of my life. And that's kind of when I woke up as I was waiting for heaven. But it was part of the MT. The way it continued, the way it started, is with, and the way it's sort of the continuation was, it was part of the MTV dream. I was part of that cartoon. And the thing is, is that. There were things in there that should have shocked me, but then, yet, but then didn't necessarily shock me. I expected that I would have more emotion over losing the girl, but I've lost so many girls in the dream, and every time I've tried, it never works out for some reason or another. I always end up being by myself, and that was okay. Because that's the way I feel right now. I feel okay. I don't feel sad or upset that I don't have anybody. And the dream ended fading to white. I'm assuming that's death. Because that's what it, that was, that's where it came in. It seems the end. Death. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Dot, dot, dot. Waiting for Heaven. Waiting for Heaven is the part that came in in my thoughts, maybe. In my, th in my thoughts. Uh, while I was in the Alder State just waking up. So I figured, since I was up now, might as well vlog. And get this part of the existence in the vlog. Where do we go from here? I really don't know. I can't tell you. I can only tell you that it's just about 6 o'clock in the evening. It's 18 hours uh, into the day of Thursday, January 14th. Happy New Year. for Ios Vasilios. And I will see you later on, uh, well, uh, later night, uh, because I'm going to my parents' house for dinner.